Hey guys, today I want to discuss a geometry problem with an elegant in-center configuration. At first, let's have a look on the picture. We have given a triangle A, B, C and in-center I. D should be the touching point of the in-circle with line B, C, so ID is perpendicular to B, C. We define J, B to be the in-center of triangle A, B, D and in the same way we define J, C to be the in-center of triangle A, D. C. Now we are asked to prove that the circumcenter O of triangle A, J, B, J, C lies on the line A, I. When solving a geometry problem, it's always a good idea to get a better understanding of the picture. And mostly, this is, can be easily done by calculating some angles. In this specific problem here, we are interested in the point O and we want to prove that this point here lies on line A, I. This means we want to prove that the angle BAO is half of the angle BAC. Therefore, it's a good idea to try to figure out as much as possible about the angle BAO. We know that O is the circumcenter of triangle AJBJC, and therefore we are able to say something about the angle JBAO. Thus, it's a good idea to split the angle BAO into the angle. B A J B plus the angle J B A O. At this point, it is important that the point J B lies between the lines A B and A O. And right now we are not able to prove this, but since we are just trying to figure out some identities, this is not so important now and I will come back to this later. Now, since A J B is the angle bisector of the angle B A D, we know that this angle here, angle B, A, J, B, is also equal to the angle J, B, A, D. And for the second angle here, we can use the fact that O is the circumcenter of triangle A, J, B, J, C to conclude that this angle here is 90 degrees minus the angle A, J, C, J, B. We remember that our task was to prove that the angle B, A, O is half of the angle B, A. C. But we also know that half of the angle BAC is equal to the angle JBAJC. This angle here can be split into two paths, namely this is equal to angle JBAD plus angle DAJC. Since the first two summons here are equal, we now want to prove that the second green summon here is also equal we see that these two angles here are interior angles in triangle A, J, C and T, where T is the intersection point of A, D and J, B, J, C. In order to prove that these green angles here are equal, it's therefore enough to prove that this angle here, J, C, T, A is equal to 90 degrees. Moreover, if we can prove this right angle here, we know that the triangle A, J, B, J, C is acute because JB and JC lie on different sides of AD. And this would imply that the circumcenter O lies inside the triangle A, JB, JC, which tells us that this equation here is actually true. We figured out that it is enough to prove that the angle JC, TA equals 90 degrees. And to do this, we want to introduce the point T prime on the line AD such that T prime JC is perpendicular to AD and prove that T prime equals T. Here I want to notice that T prime is the touching point of the in-circle of triangle ADC with line AD. Therefore, we are able to calculate the length of the segment AT prime by the formula that this is equal to AD plus AC minus DC divided by 2. To see why this formula here is true in general, I want to sketch a proof for it in triangle ABC. To do this, I want to introduce the points E and F to be the in-circle touching points on sides AC and AB. Now we know that length AE is equal to length AF and therefore we can say that 2 times AE is nothing but AB plus AC minus this segment here, BF, minus EC. We know 
that BF is equal to BD and CE is equal to CD. And therefore, we finally obtain that 2 times AE is equal to AC plus AB minus BC. Using this formula here a second time, we can also calculate DC to get that this is equal to AD plus AC minus CB plus CA minus AB divided by 2 all divided by 2. This is equal to 2 times AD plus AC plus AB minus BC all divided by 4. We see that this expression here doesn't change if we swap the points B and C. And therefore, by the same calculation, this is equal to a t double prime, where t double prime is defined to be the touching point of the in circle of triangle ABD with the line AD. Since t prime and t double prime both lie inside the segment AD, we know that these two points must be the same. So t prime equals t double prime. And therefore, we can conclude that these two points here must be indeed equal to the point P. And therefore, the angle JCTA is indeed equal to 90 degrees. And we are done.